Hello and welcome to Best of Tutorials. My name is Amar and in today's video I would like to show you how to archive old emails in Outlook. Now why do you need to archive old emails? Well, could be many reasons. One, could be you're running out of space in your uh, allowed space with uh, your server or your ISP or whoever is hosting your email. Two, could be it's very heavy on your computer since you download a lot of emails uh, locally. Uh, sometimes even Outlook has a limit to how much it can handle. Uh, another option would be just to have it as a backup for future need if not needed. So here's how we do it. First of all, we open Outlook. I'm just going to use my test profile. Okay, once Outlook loads here, what we need to do, and this could be uh, slightly different, it depends on which version of Outlook you have. For me, I'll have to go File, and then here, Tools, and then I'll click on Clean Up Old Items. Now you always have the option to set up Archive Folder, and even the time and things like that. But for me, I'll just do it one time and I'll show you how to do that. So here it says clean up old items, move old items to an Outlook data file. Before I do that, I want to show you here that I have 5.32 gig free of 6. It's pretty empty, but we'll do it. Now here it says archive this folder and all subfolders. You can choose which folder you want here. For me, I will do the first one. That will mean everything under this email address. Now, this option here is basically how long back do you want to go and archive. So for me, what I'll do here, I'll keep basically anything uh, two years and a new work. Uh, we are in 2020, so I'll basically I will just go uh, to January. Um, actually, I need to go to January 1st, 2019. Or, yeah, let's do this. Here. So this option here, include items with don't archive checked. You have in your email, you can do this option. To, uh, to set some emails or some items in your Outlook not to get archived. You can tick this one if you want to force modifying that option. I'm not going to do that. And here, it gives you the option where you're putting this archive file. So you can put it on your desktop, you can put it on a network drive, on a backup drive, it depends on what you're using, or your system administrator will let you know where to put it. In my case, I'll just leave it by default here, and you can you can even rename this, but I'll just leave the default just for testing purpose. Once I hit OK, OK here, and you see here it says archiving. And here it shows you items is being archived right now. We'll take a couple minutes.
is that I have something new here. This is my archive folder. Will take a while. Depends on how big uh, your email is and how fast is your uh, network connection. Okay, now we're done. So now you see that we have the archive here and the email here. Now if I scroll down to the end, this probably has the option not to archive. And then here we have only these emails. So those emails had that option to not archive and then you see after that every other email stayed. I had emails from 2015, 2016 maybe and I'll show you what happened. So if I go here, those are my other emails. There we go. Anyways, I hope this was a helpful and informative video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel for future videos and also if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.